If circumstances require you to keep your horse stabled in an individual box stall most of the day, what are the important features to look for in a barn that contribute most to a horse's well-being, e.g. stall with an outside window, being able to see other horses, number of feedings per day, etc.? I will say I love this question okay. because we talk a lot about that uh, being confined to a stall can be stressful for a horse, can be difficult for a horse, and we don't talk about that to make people feel bad because everybody's right. unique situation is their own and finances and geography and all sorts of other factors combine to make where you keep your horse where you keep your horse. Yeah. And this is exactly the right question yeah. is, if this is where I'm keeping my horse, what can I do to optimize right. for his health? Um, the the pr there's a proven risk factor for colic, and it mm -hmm. is it is stall time. So, a couple things you can do for that. It, one, this is your cue. <gasps> oh. <laughs> um, keep food in front of the horse all the time. So you can use this slow hay feeder bag, uh, and this is the one with the gator yes. opening, right? Yes. It yeah, has this the thing gator is, mouth. Yeah. So that it actually it stays, stays open. Stays open. And um, we also have a small whole hay net back here, but Indeed. if you're at a place that there's not a chance for turnout, I hope the owners of the place will work with her and put the hay into a bag like this or a net so that her horse has food in front of him and can nibble, can graze, can mimic nature um, as much as possible. Because she asked about how often to feed. Yes. And as far as hay, I would keep hay in front of him all the time. So that's feeding and of course a digestive supplement because they're just not made to stand in a stall. They're meant to walk around and mosey as Danvers says and, and eat some and run a little bit and, and, and that. It's, it, so we have to worry about their digestive tract. We worry about their hooves. Um, we worry about their respiratory tract. Mm -hmm. So that's maybe the next focus for me is the barn, the stall has got to be well ventilated. Mm -hmm. And that means, and it, it's going to depend on the season, but it means doors open, windows yep. open, air moving. Hopefully the barn is designed so that air flows and is not designed that, like you wouldn't want a horse in a stall right next to the indoor arena mm -hmm. and not outdoor air because the small particles will just collect in his lungs over time. Um, I also think of, of bedding. I want my bedding to be, um, well, deeper in a horse is in a stall, but dust free. Mm -hmm. I like, now this is getting really nitty gritty, but if a horse is going to be in a stall, I like him to be removed when it's cleaned. Mm. Again, for the breathing in those small particles. Sure. And um, I'm not a fan of barns that drive tractors in the aisle mm -hmm. with horses in stalls. That flywheel ash has been shown to contribute to airway disease. Mm -hmm. So, um, and, and I don't know if this is a stall rest, like he's injured thing, or it's just a circumstances, financial or where I live, but if a horse is in a stall, get him out as much as possible. So mm -hmm. it could mean hand walking. It could mean hand grazing. Some of the, uh, the dressage barns in my area, they don't have good turnout, so they put their horses on the treadmill mm -hmm. every day. Hot walkers. Yeah, hot walkers. Yeah. Anything to get them moving. And you might be able to find someone, I have a kid, that I she goes out and takes care of my horse when I'm gone. Mm -hmm. So as many times a day as you can get him out of the stall is great. Maybe the person that you've engaged um, does a morning sort of exercise and you do an afternoon exercise. Yep. And, and then he gets out of the stall more than um, once a day. Because she's going to run into the same problem that the other person did. Yep. The, the bone and other tissues will have disuse atrophy, mm -hmm. you know? So you've got to get them out of that stall. You've got to feed them as nature intended and reduce um, particles in their airway. Those are the big things I think of. And I think a lot of people think about lunging as something you do to get the bucks out, but you can do long, slow lunging Absolutely. as a good way to work your horse and mimic that moving yeah. around sort of thing. And it's a yeah. great activity for somebody who's gonna come help you out just looking to get some horse time, have them throw them on a lunge line, mm -hmm. get a little work.